I look awful and I know I look awful so just ignore that I literally just got out of the shower and I had a whole nother video planned but then I hated it so now I'm doing this one so in this video I'm gonna be sharing some of my parenting pet peeves um, if you have some of these then let me know and if you don't have these then just tell me why they don't bother you maybe it'll help me get over it but yeah so We'll get into that. If you don't like me, don't watch this video. No one's forcing you to. But if you do like me, then subscribe to my channel. Um, I try and post videos at least once a week, but I get very busy, so. And I also end up not liking some of them and then delete them and then it's a whole mess. But yeah, we'll get into the parent peeves. We'll get into the parenting pet peeves after I tell my sister to be quiet again. So I kind of put all of my pet peeves into like categories. And so the first category is the who cares category. And um, this one's personal to like me and like my family because I have Ava on a sleeping schedule. And so when a whole bunch of family visits, she gets really hyper and it's kind of harder for her to fall asleep. So um, that scared me. It's kind of harder for her to fall asleep. So um, when a whole bunch of families here, it'll be like nine o'clock and I'm like, okay, like I'm gonna try and put Ava to bed. And they'll be like, who cares if she's up? Like we're all up, like it's okay if she's up. And like, I care because I have her on a sleeping schedule and I don't want that sleeping schedule to get messed up. And like, I don't know, I just hate the whole, who cares if she's up and who cares if she does this? Because I care, like I, have a specific way of doing things and so that is why it bothers me also because i am the one that has to sleep with her and so it's like i care like you don't care because you don't have to sleep with her and you don't understand that once she gets like overly tired that she gets frustrated and fussy and you don't have to deal with that but i do so that's why i care and that's why i'm trying to get her to bed at the same time every night so the next parenting pet peeve category is the it's fine category and this one is kind of um, everybody um, <laughs> so I don't really understand people's obsession with feeding babies food that they can't eat yet like Ava has baby food Ava has baby cereal and I just don't understand the obsession of people giving her like mashed potatoes or like french fries or like a cinnamon roll like I don't understand why you would do that when she has baby food right there and like baby cereal and stuff that she can eat that is meant for babies like for example someone I know I'm not gonna say family or friend but like they'll like give her everything that they are eating like one time this person um, took something off of my plate and gave it to Ava and I was like seriously like this is my food she has her own food right there and they're like, it's fine, it's fine, she can eat it, she can eat it. And I'm like, no, she really can't. And so it just bothers me when I tell people not to give Ava certain food, and then they do, and then they say that it's fine. Like, it's not fine for a six-month-old to eat a piece of your burger or your french fry. And like, oh my god, this one person, like, they give Ava just things just to see if she can bite it. Like, we were at a restaurant, and this one person... <laughs> um had like a peanut and they gave it to Ava just to see if she can bite it and we're like and I'm just like she could have a peanut allergy like babies aren't really supposed to eat that she could choke like all these things and I'm like, it's fine it's fine like it just bothers me so much <laughs> the next category is the when I had kids category um so this one kind of ties in with all of them because it's just people giving in their two cents when I really don't care like, I'm not trying to be mean, like, sometimes it really is helpful. Like, when I had kids, like, I did this to get them to stop fussing. I'm like, okay, I'll try that. But it's, like, when they're doing something and they're, like, well, when I had kids, back to, like, like, relating back to the food thing. They're, like, when I had kids, I gave my kids, like, steak and this when they were babies. And it's, like, okay, but I'm not going to do that. Like, you raised your kids how you wanted to. And now I want to raise Ava how I want to. And it's, like one thing that bothers me about that is because like they're like well back in my day or when I had kids it's like okay well in the olden olden days they used to give kids like sips of alcohol to get them to sleep better it's like you didn't do that I'm not gonna do that and I'm not really gonna do what you did with your kids like we all raise our kids differently and so it's like I hate 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 
the whole, when I had kids, I did this. Like, okay, that was you. That's not me. So yeah, that one, it's not really that big of a deal, but it still is a pet peeve of mine just because it is annoying. And maybe I'm just being too picky with Ava, but like, I'm trying to do things how I want to do things. So maybe that's where I'm like coming from, you know? So the last category is, I titled it, when people think they know her. And that means like when people think they know Ava. Like for example, if someone is with me and then someone comes over and Ava like starts crying, they'll be like, oh, she always does this. I'm like, mm, she doesn't always do that. She did it once when you were here and now you think she always does that? Like, no. That's just like a thing that I hate. Like, oh, she always does this. And I hate when it's coming from someone who spent like a day or two with her or like, an hour or something like she always does that like no she doesn't she just did it once today like I don't understand where you're coming from with the she always it just bothers me when people think they know her and think they know certain things about her when they don't and like I don't know I'm just very these things bother me like they're not like the biggest deal ever like maybe I'm over exaggerating but that's what I do um <laughs> Yeah, so those are a few of my parenting pet peeves. If you have the same ones, let me know. If you have different ones, let me know. And if you're like, Chloe, get over this, then let me know. Tell me how to get over it. Um, so yeah, that's it for this. Peace out.